Hi everyone, this is Bernard Bertrand, photographer, director, and Lumix ambassador. On this quick tip, I'm gonna guide you into the process I'm using to create my own VLT LUT, like I did on those exact images. Most of the time when I'm shooting fashion images, I'm surrounded by an entire crew, of course. There is the hairdresser, the makeup artist, of course, and the client over my shoulder. So they are not used to see a log image. It is pale, desaturated, super low contrast. So it could look really unappealing for them, even if I am super excited to be able to capture log. My team is not used to see and understand that kind of image. So most of the time, at the very beginning of the day, I'm shooting a couple of seconds clip and I'm then uploading it straight to my laptop. I step into DaVinci Resolve. There I either make a quick look by adding contrast and saturation or I'm using an existing LUT that I have already. And most of the time I'm doing both. I'm starting from an existing LUT and I make some quick adjustment. Then when I'm close to the final look I want, I just come over my thumbnail, I right click and there you will see that you are able to export a cube LUT or a VLT LUT. The cube LUT are the common LUT. The V LUT are the Varicam LUT, Varicam being the Panasonic cinema cameras. And this is the technology that I have here on my Lumix S5 or my S1H. So I simply export my VLT LUT from DaVinci Resolve. I save it on my desktop, I rename it and I copy it into my SD card. I put back the SD card into the camera. Then on the camera menu, you go on the second tab. There you will go on monitor display for video. On the first line, you will find the VLOG view assist. By default, you will find also the log to rec 709 LUT, of course. But on the first line, you will see read LUT file. This is where you will be able to upload your VLT LUT, the one you just created. And boom, you will be able to choose to display your image using a LUT on your camera monitor for yourself or sending it to the HDMI cable. So you could have an Atomos or any screen somewhere on the studio where your team is able to see a sort of final look you are looking for. The entire process takes me a couple of minutes, literally. And on those specific images that I choose to show you into the intro, the funny thing is that I did not create those final images at all. I was actually so happy with the result that I did get at the end that I simply used the lot I created that shooting day. And note that for a start, you could simply Google Varicam LUT download and you will end up into the Panasonic website where you will be able to download a nice package of professional VLT LUT for free. And then note also that you are able to customize any of your Lumex camera button. So for instance, on my S1H that is recording myself right now, I did set function one and function two button to call the LUT visible on either my screen or the HDMI. So anytime I have the full control of my LUT, making it visible or not, here or there. And it's super convenient. This is it for now. I see you on the next video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Panasonic.